picture taken at a Flemington High School game is making waves on the internet. That's because it shows a group of students praying on the field. Fox 10 News reporter Paige Malone has both sides of the story. It's a simple picture, students joining hands in prayer, but it's gotten more than 7,000 likes on Facebook. It was taken at a Flomaton High School football game, and it's causing a lot of buzz. If they want to do it, do it. You know what I mean? It don't matter. You know, I don't see it hurt nothing. That's what people in Flomaton told us today. But co-president of the Freedom from Religion Foundation, Annie Lori Gaylor, says this is not what you should see at a sporting event. It's unnecessary and embarrassing and divisive to bring religion into our public schools, and it is a captive audience of students. They have the right to attend a sporting event without being told to bow their heads and close their eyes and pray to Jesus. The foundation, based in Wisconsin, sent the Escambia County Public School System a letter a few months back. Superintendent Randall Little says the letter said they were in violation of a Supreme Court ruling that says any official sanction of prayer in public schools is unconstitutional. They had heard through this anonymous uh, complaint that we that one of our local high schools, Flomaton High School, had had an invocation uh, before one or more of its home ball games. Little told all of the schools in the system to cut out prayers, but this group of students decided to take a stand at a Flomaton home game. Now, Little says technically prayer isn't forbidden on the field. School employees just can't organize or participate in it. We shall comply uh, uh, with the law when it comes to this issue, but at the same time, students have the right to uh, pray at school as long as it is student-led, student-initiated, uh, and, uh, and we shall uh, reserve that right. A little says no employee participated, therefore it's not in violation of the law. Many in the community are proud of what these students did. Most students need to get together and, um, you know, pray. And I think it should be allowed back in the schools. In Flomaton, Paige Malone, Fox 10 News. If the school or any school does not comply with the law, the school could face a lawsuit.